There's a lot of things that'll keep a CISO awake at night, for sure. More than anything, I guess my, my biggest concern is deriving value for my agency, which is executing a, a mission that is so critical to the world um, that cybersecurity just can't be an inhibitor to that. My path to the CISO's desk started in the Marine Corps. I was an IT specialist. I did everything from um, cabling to help desk to uh, systems and network administration and engineering. And I recognized pretty quickly that I was, I was very interested in cybersecurity. As the CISO for the CDC IMD agency's chief information security officer. And so in that regard, I oversee all of the cybersecurity program, the privacy program for the entire agency. But there's a lot of worry right now about new and emerging technologies and the threat they pose to, in some cases, humanity itself. I think artificial intelligence is one of those areas where um, cybersecurity as a uh, supporter of things like common sense guardrails and you know, moving ethically and making good decisions in that space is a perfect example of why cybersecurity is needed now. The entire federal government for which I work, um, private sector, we're all wrestling with you know, how do we adapt to the quickly evolving landscape in which we operate. I knew I wanted to be a CISO for approximately five years before I ever got the job. And I recognized that there were skills and abilities and things that I needed to, to know in order to be successful in that role. Things like communication skills, understanding how to read a profit and loss and how to uh, identify capital expenditures versus operational expenditures, all of those business-oriented skills were things that I know that um, I needed to be able to absorb and understand so I could have good conversations with executive leaders on their terms. I definitely feel very well prepared for this role um, and, and when the challenges that do present themselves I, I feel very comfortable being able to make informed recommendations as, as to how we should proceed and so um, I, I would say that there's probably a large degree of credit to the program for being able to inform me to have that solid foundation from which to make these decisions. If you think about other industries, you've got things like JDs, you've got CPAs, and these are these are um, certifications and titles that cross industrial boundaries. And cybersecurity doesn't have that. And so, um, when people are looking to make hiring decisions, like they did for me, they're looking for something that will indicate that the program was not just a pay-for-play or or a, an easy certification exam. And so, um, coming to Carnegie Mellon, attending this program, I immediately gained the credibility of the organization from the hiring manager's perspective. As a matter of fact, I remember this course specifically being discussed during my multiple interviews for this position as, as a benefit for the hiring managers to make a more informed decision. So absolutely, I think this, this program helped me get my current position. I couldn't give it a higher recommendation.